Let's go, baby. Got it. Come on. Man. And welcome to this week's Wisconsin Huddle Unleashed. I'm Zach Canley. She's Britta Curl, and we're going to putt for prizes. Britta, when's the last time you played golf? Uh, I got out a couple times this summer. Okay, um, a couple more than me. Would couple. you say you're good? I wouldn't Decent. say I'm good. I'd say I can hit the ball off the ground. I okay. can hopefully make a putt. We'll see. All right. Well, I'll let you go first. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. Should have brought my own putter. OK, here we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> so number 17. Why number 17? Does that have any specific meaning? Well, I was 21 in high school. I kind of wanted 21, but Nicole Amantillo was in my class. She stole that first, so I can't remember what the other options were, but um, my brother was 17 in high school, so I liked it. Um, if you weren't playing hockey, what sport would you be playing? A little too much. Okay. Um, I really liked soccer. I played in high school. Um, that was probably the next sport I was best at. So I'm gonna move up. I'm gonna move up. <laughs> soccer, so forward, midfielder. Uh, I was mostly a forward. Our team wasn't very good, so they would just kick it over, and I'd sprint after <laughs> it. And I read that. Oh, there's one. <laughs> I read that uh, you started playing hockey when you were three? Or yeah, I think so. Skating? Yeah, my dad, he would always build a rink in our backyard. So I don't really, like, you probably even remember the first time I skated, but I just felt like I was always doing it. Oh. That looked like me. Yeah, I was too distracted. That's a Zach butt. <laughs> All right. And what, what about hockey made you fall in love with the game? Hmm. I would say just like the competitiveness of it. Um, I've always felt challenged by it. Um, it doesn't really come naturally when you first start, so I just yeah. liked seeing myself get better. I liked being physical. I liked, you know, getting into it with the boys. I always thought that was fun. Righty with golf, yeah. well, lefty and hockey. How, like, how did that work? I don't really know. I mean, I. I don't know, I think it's because you're right-handed and no when you're stick handling, it's your right hand on top and you're controlling it and then, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of weird though. My brother's the opposite, so I don't get it. Yes. There we go. <laughs> you know, they didn't have confidence in me, so nobody gets a prize <laughs> for that. I had to move up. Yay! Are you sure it was only a couple times that you got up? <laughs> okay. Well, I played high school golf for two years. Oh, okay, so you forgot but, to mention But that. I was only like 13. Okay. You can't really take out your aggression as oh, much in golf. <laughs> Yeah, she did. Of course. All right, let's go for three. Three in a row. Yeah! You're dialed in. You're dialed in. Yeah. I made one too, Ross. There we go. Oh. <laughs> So do you have any uh, pre-game rituals, superstitions, something that you have to do before every game? Um, I try not to be too superstitious. Um, I like to go to the rink pretty early, like three hours early, just to um, 
touch up on film and like <laughs> write down my goals for the game, um, tape my sticks. But other than that, just kind of go with the flow. Goals for the game stay like, the same? They, it depends. Um, often it'll be like how many block shots I want to get, how many shots on net, just things that you can measure and control yeah. more so. Um, like this past weekend, it was you know get in front of the goalie, get pressure on the net, um, and get a couple block shots. So it just helps me focus during the game. So block shots, yeah, like, not at all. I think you had like. 55 last season? Maybe, yeah. Uh, like, what kind of mindset do you have to be knowing that, like, hey, you know what? I'm just going to put my body on the line yeah. and I'm going to take a puck. I'm going to eat a puck. Yeah, it's, it's weird, but for me, like, I get the same rush out of blocking a shot as I do scoring a goal. Yeah. I just love when the crowd gets into it. I love when it fires the team up or you make a big stop. And I think it helps the team as much as, you know, some goals do, so. Something I've always took pride in. Yeah! That's five in a row. That's five in a row. Hey, my goal was to make one. I wrote it down before we started. I made one. All right. Six. All right, we're gonna have to like have you like hit left. Do a chip shot. Yeah. Or blindfold. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're out of prizes, Ross. <laughs> I'm, I'm very close. <laughs> All right. You know, I'm really good at <laughs> banking it in. <laughs> who's uh, who's your favorite team to play against? Oh. Nice. <laughs> um. It's a tough we call. We heard those pity claps. <laughs> I would have to say Minnesota. Yeah. Um, obvious. It's obvious the rivalry. And yeah, that's two in a row. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, they have some players that like I've grown up playing yeah. with and around, and it's just kind of fun when that hits the ice on a different level. But Ohio State's always fun too. It's just a different challenge. And uh, so you've won three national championships. Yes. Do you remember the moment for each of them? Or I mean, what's that? What's that moment like? Oh. Uh, the streak's over. <laughs> um, it's yeah. It's every moment or every team's a little bit different, and you know, there's different expectations. Um, as a freshman, it felt a certain way, like you just show up and you yeah. coast along with the seniors who've been trying for four years, and then you win. You're like, oh, that was easy. Yeah. Like, right. <laughs> Um, this past year, I really realized like how difficult it really is. Um, we had just a little bit different season. Um, we were more underdogs, so that one was just so much more of like a relief to get it over with. But yeah, everyone's special in its own way. Yeah, it was crazy how last year everybody kind of just counted Wisconsin out. Yeah. And then, boom. Yeah, I mean, we always knew we had it. We just had to put it together. Um, we definitely went through some adversity in the middle of the season, but come on. There yeah. we go. All right, back on track. Back on track. Back on track. So, Mark Johnson, did you ha did you know he was Miracle on Ice before? Like, do you have to remind yourself like he did that? Like, what is that like? Yeah, he rarely talks about it, and it's really easy to forget just because he's such a normal, down-to-earth guy. <laughs> um, but when you you know see all the accomplishments, or he hits another milestone, you realize you know who this person is, and you get to be around him every day and learn from him. It's kind of to pinch yourself a little bit. She keeps laughing. <laughs> So how often do you hang out at the rink? Or is there a point where you have to tell yourself, I'm here too much, I need to go take a break? Yeah, you know, I think as you come in as a freshman and you have free ice and you get to do all this stuff and use all these resources, like I remember being there every day of the week, yeah. Sunday, on my off day, in the morning, at night. You know, you just like almost overwhelmed at the like chances to get better, but I think I'm at the point now as a fifth. Yeah. 
a fifth year senior and I need to remember breaks are yeah. like important. Um, you know, just there's things outside of hockey, school, you know, relationships. Like, yeah. sometimes that's a little bit more important. So I try not to, or I try to have a good balance. Well, one of those things we've talked about this before, the music, right? Like, yeah. How often, I mean, in the season, it's a little hard, but like when you're out of the season, like how often? you get to, you know, write a song or do a cover or, you know, yeah. play with your, your family. I would say, like, when I go home to North Dakota and, you know, I have access to my parents' piano and all this stuff, and my sister, we really um, bond over music. I do it every day, probably. Yeah. In the season, not as much. You know, I have my guitar around if I need an outlet or something to right. do, but um, it's definitely something I'm, I want to pick up more when, when I don't... Yeah, more time. Yeah, yeah, when more I'm done time. with school and everything, so... Well, it's a good thing we weren't keeping score because I made a total of three and Britta, at one point, you made six, seven in a row. Yep. <laughs> no big deal. Uh, that's it for this week's Wisconsin Huddle Unleashed. For Britta Curl, I'm Zach Ganley. We'll see you next week.